Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have the ultimate versatile lockdown build for you guys, okay? When I say lockdown, I'm talking about perimeter and I'm talking about interior. You still get good height on this build. You will be able to guard every position one through five without a problem, okay? So make sure you guys watch the video to the end because this build right here is something you want to see, all right? So we're going to put the build at power four. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time. Go down there, hit that like button, get this video to about 60 likes, and hit that subscribe button, man. Let's get this channel to 15K. We are almost at 15K. At the time of this video, I am currently sitting at uh, 14,967 subscribers. So, Let's go ahead and get that thing up to 15K, man. We're almost there. So with this build, we're going six foot nine, 210 pounds on the weight, 77 wingspan built by the shape. Let's get into the build. So with this particular build, when I say the build is versatile, I really do mean it, okay? So we're going to go straight to the defense. A lot of people probably come to see the defense, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the defense, all right? So for the interior defense, we're going to take that up to a 79, right? It's going to go up anyway but we're gonna take it up to a 79. And that will allow us to have some good interior defense. Interior defense is not what it should be, but you still need it at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's all, but to me, it's all about your block, okay? Your block rating does help you out a lot because I test this stuff out daily and I see what I need for certain builds. And I see that certain builds move different, certain builds block different. Like, it's crazy, man. I really don't understand it because I have a prospect build with a 75 block. And that bill blocks so aggressive, you know, you would think that bill has a higher block than that, but, you know, it's, it's crazy. And I got an Anthony Davis bill. That bill has a 93 block, gold anchor, gold pogo, Hall of Fame chase down artist, and it used to block better, when it does block better than my bill that I had with a 99 block. So I, I just don't understand this game sometimes, but that's just what it is with it. For the perimeter defense, we're going to take that up to 88. Like I said, you can go out to one through five. This build can really play on the perimeter, okay? You do have good perimeter defense, so that will allow you to slow people down on the perimeter. For the steal, we're going to max that out at a 90, okay? We do get gold interceptor. We also get gold, uh, silver glove, which is really, really good, man. We get that tier one, and we get interceptor tier two. On the block, we're going to take that block up to a 93 because that will allow us to get that gold anchor I was telling you about, you guys about, and that's very important. We also get pogo on gold, and we get chase down artists on Hall of Fame. For the rebounding, we want to make sure we have great rebounding on this build. So with a 94 on the offensive rebound, that will give you guys Hall of Fame box. A lot of people don't pay attention to that one little small tick that can take your box from gold to Hall of Fame. For the defensive rebound, we're going to take that to an 85. And as you guys can see, we do get 30 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, we're going to take the strength up right quick, too. We got a 76 strength on this build. And that will allow us to get silver brick wall. I have silver brick wall on my bill. And this bill is, is, is sort of like my bill when it comes to the, you know, like the big man stuff, like the anchor, pogo, rebound, chase, and all that stuff. So we'll use brick wall. We'll use rebound, chase, and pogo, anchor, chase down, interceptor, clamps. We'll go with glove. We'll go with box. And we'll probably throw in workhorse. But those are the bads I would use for this particular bill. Man, this bill is crazy on defense. But let's go back up. You know, we're going to skip around a little bit. Let's go to the finishing. So we're going to take the driving dunk to 86. Everybody should have, you know, driving dunk around that number. You know, it, it's really good to have it, and it does separate you from everybody else. For the driving layup, we're going to take that up to 80. For the close shot, we have a 76. I think silver fast twitch is very important to every build, and I think you guys should use it. Not saying uh, you have to have it, but, you know, it's good to have. For the standard dunk, I have been playing, and I see that – if you can't get an 80 standing dunk on your bill, take it to a 75, man. 75 is a sweet spot, in my opinion. I have a 75 standing dunk on two bills, okay? I got an 80 standing dunk on two bills. I got a 90 standing dunk on one bill. So I have a lot of practice with this standing dunk, and I even have a 40 standing dunk with my small bill. So I have a, a lot of practice with different levels of the rise up, okay? I have had rise up on bronze, on silver, on go okay i haven't tried hall of fame yet but i have tested out a lot of standing dunk animations okay trust me on that when i tell you guys something take heed to what i'm saying because i know what i'm talking about okay so for fast twitch i would use that i would use rise up poster rise with throw in fearless with throw in limitless takeoff 
and Slytherin. I love the fact that we got Drop Stepper, even though we don't have any post control. That's a great badge to have. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream bad. And this build can't shoot, no doubt about it. So for the three-point shot, we're going to take that up to an 82. Yes, we have an 82. You can take it up higher if you want to, but I didn't want to sacrifice my wingspan. This is a lockdown now. So don't go out there sacrificing your wingspan just to get three-point shooting, and you don't even need high three-point shooting like that. So an 82 will allow us to get where well, 81 will allow us to get gold, catch, and shoot, but we do have an 82. For the mid-range shot, we're going to take that to an 81. And the uh, free throw is a 62. And as you guys can see, we get 21 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? So I would use catch and shoot. I would use corner specialist, green machine, throw in claymore, throw in amped, and everything else after that is just icing on the cake. So choose what you want to choose. That's totally up to you. Um, I probably would use slippery out ball as well. That's a great badge to have. So that's something you should choose, you should look into. But a lot of other badges I really don't use, especially I with this build, I most definitely wouldn't use certain badges because you don't want to be out there doing too much with this build, man. You're out there to play defense. You're out there to shoot when you get the shot. You're out there to finish when you get to the rim. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody, mama, can see this video. And I need everybody, mama, see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to get that up to a 30. Nothing to talk about there. Ball handle is a 40. Nothing to talk about with that. Pass accuracy is a 70. Now, if you want to take this up a little bit higher, y'all understand, but I was just looking at the fact that you get silver break starter, you get silver needle threader, man. Two great bads to have on this build if you want to make those passes after you get the rebound. I think silver break starter is good enough. Okay, a lot of people go overboard on that passing, but if you want to just zip passes in there, hey, man, take it up a little bit higher. But for me, I left it at a 70 so we could do other things on the build because playmaking costs a lot no matter what build it is, man. Playmaking will cost you a lot on this game, okay? But look at the combination. We got 18, we got 21, 6, and 30. Big defense on this build, man. So for the physical, we want great speed on this build, so we're going to take that to an 80. Acceleration is a 75. You really can leave it where you had it at. Like when you take the um, when you take the speed up, whatever the acceleration go to, you can do it like that. You can actually go like that, 80 and 68, or you can bump it to a 70. But I did take it to a 75. We got a strength of a 76. We got vert of an 80 that will help you out a lot. And we're going to put the rest on, well... What did I do? Oh, my bad. The uh, speed ball went up. And the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So we have sharp shooting. We have perimeter defense, interior defense, and rebounding. Okay. So of course, man, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go crazy. Or you can or you can fly, flip that around. Just in case you be in the paint, man. You know what I'm saying? You got some defense and you got some defense. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? Because I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we do have shades of Dave. I don't even know who the hell that is. I can't even say buddy name. Never heard of him. We got Jared Jackson Jr. We got Evan Mobley. And y'all better not come in the comments and say, man, you don't know who that is. The man played in 1962. Come on, man. Don't, don't, uh, please don't come in the comments and say that. But we do have a two-way, three-level score. Nobody here, man. Charge!